we have an issue. Uh, my worst fear, my biggest concern of this whole thing was the oil system pulling this oil uphill. And I know I explained that in detail and why I was worried about that. And it seemed to work. Uh, and it didn't have any oil coming out of it while we were running it before. Everything seemed dry and happy and good. Then it sat overnight, started it up just now to move it. And it blew all the oil out of the tailpipe on the left-hand side. So um, what's happening is that pump can only pump. It's basically creating negative pressure in the return oil side. So as it's running and as that pump's running, if that pump were running nonstop, it wouldn't, it wouldn't leak out the turbo. But the problem is it can't suck oil if not, nothing's being introduced in with the oil. Uh, picture filling a straw with water, putting your finger on the bottom of the straw, and then trying to suck the water out. You can't suck the water out unless you move your finger a little bit or the straw collapses. Um, it has to be displaced by something. So the problem is as soon as you turn it off, then gravity there and that seal, obviously on that left turbo, isn't the greatest. So it leaks a little bit. So it just slowly leaks down, fills up the turbo, uh, and then it's actually fill enough to where it's draining out, draining out the tailpipe. So what we're going to do is we are going to put 90s on here and we're going to run these lines all on the bottom side. Um, I didn't want to do that because I didn't want the risk of them getting hit by something, uh, but we don't have a choice. So uh, we are going to have to get these things, try to keep them up as tight as we can um, and uh, hope for the best. So we are okay having them tilted back a little bit as long as every, as long as everything is low, uh, they can still be tilted back like this. Um, and I'm hoping that if I can get the right adapters and stuff, we'll actually still be above the frame, but uh, it's, it's going to be tight and I don't have a ton of parts to work with. Um, I have quite a few. I stopped and got more everything I could think of we could need. Um, and then as soon as I get here, I thought of a different option. Um, and I obviously don't have the parts to do this, the second option. So I have a couple hours, so I'm going to get going on it and hopefully this goes good and we can get this thing up on the dyno. I got the oil pump running. Um, I'm going to loosen it here to try to drain the oil system. So hopefully we'll hear air coming into it. So you can hear a gurgle. Now I'm going to open the other side. And I'll probably shut this side. Get the oil out of this one. Well, that didn't work perfectly, but I think we got most of the oil out of those lines. I was just trying to make as little of a mess as possible. What's happening is it's just sucking air by the oil. It's not actually sucking the oil uh, uphill, which is, I guess, to be expected. So um, I, I believe once we have our oil system below, this is going to work. Uh, it's just, the, Drawing it uphill like that, especially with the two turbos, uh, I just don't think it's possible for that to, to actually function. So uh, I'm going to turn it off. It's probably going to pour oil everywhere when I do All right, let's hold up some fittings and see if we can't make this fit right. All right, guys, so uh, the pump was in basically upside down. So it used to be that the inlet to the pump was on the top and then the outlet was the bottom and we're changing all that. Uh, so I have to flip it around. So I had to loosen the bracket and then flip the pump over uh, and then we'll remake the return line and, and hook up the, uh, the, the new line that we're making there to the bottom side. So um, hopefully, hopefully this will work out good. Here goes nothing. We got our new oil system. I hung a little diaper so that uh, all that oil that is going to come spraying out of there will hopefully just hit that and not go all over the car again. And then we're going to have to let it sit and see if it does it again. I am not 100% convinced, convinced this turbo is not a piece of shit. Uh, 
I, I can't imagine there being so much oil in that that it continued to pour out like that. And that never stopped, it never stopped spraying oil. All right, guys, I got some good news and I probably have some bad news. I just don't know what it is yet. <laughs> um, I, I let it set for about an hour after we ran it, but before I went up to the house, I wiped the tailpipe out um, and then came back down, no oil. Um, and then I figured I should start it and make sure that uh, it's not starting to fill up with oil. I started it and uh, it's still clean in there. So um, I think we're good. So hopefully, hopefully I can clean the car up now and we'll be done with it. So um, there's that. I did send uh, or I, I spouted some misinformation uh, on this episode. And I believe the last one um, about blowing the seals out of the turbo. That is not a thing. <laughs> I, I just learned as I was looking that up. That's still hot. Um, I, ju I just learned there are no seals in there. There's a there's a ring uh, that, that's kind of a seal. Uh, it's like a tension ring. It's mainly to keep exhaust out of the oil and not necessarily the oil out of the exhaust. Um, what keeps the oil out of the exhaust is the fact that it's just a small shaft and a small bushing down the center and the oil's coming in the top and spraying out the bottom. And uh, really there's no way of it going out unless that chamber were to fill up, the exhaust chamber were to fill up with oil. That's the only way that it, or the uh, center, I mean, would fill up to oil up to that shaft level. That's the only way oil would really leak through there. So um, so that was, uh, that, was, uh, that was incorrect. So what I was saying about seals is, is incorrect. There are no seals there. So um, I think we're good. I don't see any oil leaks or anything. Um, I think, I think we're good to go. So I'm going to clean it up, set it down and we'll, I'll get it on the tow truck so that we can get it up to Chad's. All right, guys. So fingers crossed this goes well. Um, we are doing this today. So I'm, I'm going to try to get the video out to you, uh, Friday, Friday at the latest. I, I may be able to get it done on Thursday and, and get it done, but I, I, I need to release it at around two or so just for the algorithm. Not that it really matters right now, but um, I need to try to get it out around two. So it'll either be two o'clock Thursday or two o'clock Friday. Um, so, you know, just hold on to your seat and wait. I know, I know you guys are just uh, anxious for this video to come out. So um, anyway, thanks for watching. We will see you again Thursday or Friday. <laughs>